You see, everything that is going on in this world as we are talking right now affects everyone in this world. Every single human being will be affected by the outcome of what takes place here. Now, I know a lot of you people out there maybe are in denial. You don't believe that this is going to affect anybody. It's not going to affect you. It's not going to affect your family. But if you really want to learn and understand how to be prepared and see some of the things that you're going to need in case of whatever may take place, if you want to be able to supply for your family, if you want to be able to take care of your family, first off, is you just don't want to panic. The best thing to do is be prepared. It's better to be prepared than unprepared. Your water preparations. You can sit there and you can get the water purification tablets, folks. That is a great little tool to have in your toolbox. And this way here, it's very easy for you to purify your water after you have filtered it. You can also use bleach, but if you use it properly, when you're putting it into your water, it actually sanitizes your water and kills bacteria. You can get Sawyer Minis. Sawyer Minis are a great tool. You can look at Life Straws. Life Straws are another great addition to your arsenal. Another great thing is a Berkeley water filter. Berkeley water filters are one of the top of the line water filtration systems that you can buy. That is, in a sense, portable. It is a very large, but you also can get them in all different sizes. So, depending on what kind of counter space you may have, or what your needs may be, or how much you can spend, being able to buy a Berkeley water filter system, different sizes and different price range, could be an option for you. Storing water is another really, really hard one here, folks. When you're storing your water and everything, you can get like water bricks, you can get water jugs, you can buy cases of water, and this way here, you can stack those up. I wouldn't go much more than three or four high because then it starts to collapse the ones on the bottom, but that also is an alternative for you. Now, some of the things that you may also want to really consider here, folks, is ways to cook. Charcoal grill is a great option. A flat top grill is another great thing that you could have in your arsenal. A regular grill would also work. A lot of people may have all these things. Having Coleman stoves is another great option because Coleman stoves are nice and easy, compact. You can take them anywhere. Thing is, you want to make sure that you have charcoal. You also want to make sure that you do have propane. Now, if you do have a gas grill, a propane flat top, your Coleman stoves, having a few of those on hand may be very, very beneficial. And you got to have power. So having battery banks in all different sizes is crucial. You also want to maybe look into getting a generator, a portable generator on wheels so it's easier for you to, to move around. Something you really want to really consider, folks, is making sure that you have extra cash on hand also. You start off with all your basic goods. You want to make sure that you have your medicines. Having all the different types of toiletries and first aid stuff, very critical part of your prep. But you can start off with your freeze-dried foods, Augustine Farms, you could look into them. Uh, Mountain House has a whole bunch of like the perfect size single packs and stuff and you can store those very easy. You can also go the uh, MRE route if you wish. Now some of the canned goods and stuff that you really want to think about because you want to try to have things that, well, you can open and eat. So you want to have stuff like the pulled pork and roast beef and chicken and tuna fish and all those different types of things. Corned beef hash, beefaroni, um, spaghettios, all these different types of canned goods and stuff are great to have. The DAC hams, Spam, a lot of these products you can just take and open and eat if you had to in a very critical emergency situation. 
having a stockpile of food and canned goods and things are something that you really want to consider. But the point being here, folks, is, you know, you have to make sure that you're you're buying the goods and everything else that your family would probably eat regardless. Your dry goods. What you want to be looking at is, number one, storing rice. It's still probably one of the cheapest things that you can buy that's going to last the longest. Pastas is another one. Having pasta on hand is a huge, huge benefit. If you have rice and you have pasta, you have two products that are going to probably last for between 20 and 40 years, depending on how you store these things. Having sugar on hand is another thing. Say storing powdered milk. Having bouillon cubes is another thing. Salt is another big thing that you want to make sure that you have on hand. Having dried beans, all different types of dried beans and stuff is another thing that's going to last. If you store it right, folks, they can last between 20 and 40 years. Coffee. Freeze-dried coffee. If you store freeze-dried coffee, folks, and you store it right, it'll last forever. Potato flakes. Instant potato or potato flakes, however you want to buy them and everything else, and you store those things up, you know, you have potatoes on hand whenever. Honey is another good one. Between honey and, say, pure maple syrup, those two products will last forever also. A lot of prices are going up and meat prices are going up. Everyday things are going up and it is just a scary type situation of what is taking place. Folks, the, the main thing that you want to remember is that with all these prices increasing, they're going to keep increasing because of, of inflation. A lot of these things that I've talked about are on my Amazon storefront, which is linked below in the description. But the panic buying, folks, is what you want to stay away from. You don't want to get caught up in the whole chaos of the situation. You see, folks, when it comes down to being prepped and when it comes down to being ready, you don't want to wait to the last moment because then you're in that panic buy mode with a million other people if you are prepared you can sit back and watch the show follow what i'm saying